Welcome back, YouTube, for another video. Wait, let me turn on the sound. Huh, well, at least the rain stopped. I have that on a 50% uh, capture for the game sound. So hopefully it will not mask my mic audio because right now my video editing software just will not export videos and I have not tried to uninstall, reinstall. I have not tried it. Every time I try to export it, it just crashes. I don't know why it just does. So there's that. That's also why I have not been able to stream together videos and I have to just one shot them. This is, with that out of the way, this is an ending comment to my previous video talking about where did I go? Why did I stop making content for light workers? My light worker channel. Why did I stop? The ending comment to that is the game broke me, basically. I am working towards recovering right now i do not know if i will continue to make content or not however right now i am focused on gaming arc videos such as this am i trying to figure out how to combine light worker video topics into gaming this is a test to see how I do, to see if this is what the community wants to see more of. So I will try to do more videos like this for light workers uh, topics. Um, it, that doesn't mean I will not produce content anymore. I have changed gears to my chub channel. I apologize for speech impairment. I do work on that. Uh, I have launched a Discord server for the YouTube gaming fanbase channel. I have uh, showed that in the last video. So I will probably separate the light worker YouTube Discord server from the gaming Discord server that I have currently. Separate them or keep them together. I know some people who game are not going to be interested in the light worker topics that I have done. That is why I have current I have currently separated them. The light worker Discord server has not been created yet. Right now there is just the gaming Discord server only. I previously talked about how people come at me for dating only, then they lose contact with me because I do not date them. Other people just lose contact for whatever reason, and then the bond, we, the friendship that you created goes out the window when you haven't spoken for three months or whatever it is even though there was a situation that created that gap of time uh, for me personally it hinders what you left off because whatever reason for me at least it to me, it 
shows that what if this person is not that into the friendship? What if they came for other reasons? They like, for an example, they are chasing you, treating you as some sort of blank toy. I do not feel comfortable saying that publicly, but yeah. What if they are just here for ERP and not for your actual friendship and the flirting, flirt only type of person? I have ran into a lot of those types and quite frankly, I lost interest in those types of conversations. I. I, I know a person told me that they view it as art, even though it's beneath me to do so right now, um, to even conversate in ERP and for a person to want me in that way, even though I do not love them and I they do not love you in that, uh, by love I mean wife and husband wife and wife, husband and husband. When you're only friends with benefits, it is beneath me right now. If that makes sense. And I ran into some people who only talked to me for ERP only. And I know they were trolls. I kicked out two people from my YouTube because of it. I am aware of how men treat women in that regard, in those regards. So it's not just people come to you for friendship, though you want to get do ERP, and it's bad when you're not wife and husband, and you're only friends with benefits or in this case, strangers. For me, I don't really mind it as much since I know you can't really escape the flirting aspects of life, but when it is solely based on ARP only, that's when things are a problem. So why did people leave me? for reasons. Well, my ex admitted that he was scared of my light worker light. My light. A powerful aura. He was afraid of what I had become. He admitted this. He told me he did not want me to find him this last time. He, three days later, what happens? He deletes his account and I can never find him ever again. He made it that way. And I took it as a giant blow to the heart chakra because there was so much time and energy I put into this person only to discover he wants nothing to do with me now. It hurts. I admit that. Some people for for instance, um, I've heard stories where, okay, you're losing all your friends, you freak out. That was one of my events. Well, that happened to me. Um, besides the whole, if you can't date me, you leave. I don't know. Then there's um, people who just, well, they'll commenters who aren't really your friend but you still talk with them. Those people I don't mind. Those people I actually enjoy having around because it creates more a better atmosphere for YouTube or Twitch or Discord for whatever. It brings more conversation and uh, brainstorming if, why not? I mean, conversating with people is a good thing.
Don't like. My OBS has crashed, so I have no idea. Oh, okay, game. Well, screw you. <sighs> That's why it crashed. Um, my computer hates me. It apparently I need more RAM. So yeah, it looks like I can't even do that uh, for ARC as a sit here on medium graphics. I could try it with low, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, crap. Okay, uh, well, I can try an image. Let me pull up an image real quick. I, I had no idea OBS would do that. So forgive me for being, I don't know why I left off because it's just literally crossed and I have no idea of knowing where it froze. So for, forgive me for that, uh, my computer does not like me right now. I'll put up this one. Okay. Since it's brighter. Whoop. Wait. Uh, okay. I don't know what I just dragged. Um, okay. Uh, right. Try it again. Thank you. Wait. Post that down, duh. Okay. Try it like this and see what happens. Okay, as I was saying, I know people leave me for various reasons. Having a commenter is okay because it creates... I love people who comment, okay? But make sure that those comments are positive, not mean, not crude, not stupid. By stupid, I mean your mama or some other sepal comment. Uh, basically, just if you have nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. Pretty much uh, the golden rule right there. Um, Actually talking about this on video is actually helping. I haven't really spoke since the incident um, of what happened 12 days ago. Uh, I know my the voices that I have attached to it themselves, I can't concentrate. You're going to hear that a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, as I was saying, um, my spirit guys have tried to help me out of my funk to get my groove back. It, it didn't really work. This is just something I have to do myself to work through and Talking about it on video is helping even though I could attract trolls like you're so ugly, you suck, or no one likes you, those type of troll comments that I have seen, uh, not, well actually haven't seen, it happened to me years ago, but not to that extent of those comments, it was more like your butt hurt, your ten year old butt hurt person, uh, some about hospital. I don't know, it was just really mean, basically. So yeah, I, I do know I the these two videos will could attract trolls to me because I shelled a hard 
story uh, to digest with you all. That's also why I was shaky earlier. Um, so yeah, the, the game became aware of how to literally break me into giving up. But I am working towards healing again, knowing that I only have one person in my life that is remains. Um, and I know I have commenters, so except I kind of left that website. Uh, to be honest, I haven't logged in for because I stopped uh, producing this one type of artwork on there. So I, I left this website while I was having a commenter, but yeah. And I loved Facebook for now. I don't know if I will ever go back. Uh, it says really bad for me. Uh, Facebook has always been bad, cold to me. Has Twitter been mean to me? Not really. Just, I just see a lot of stupid stuff because I followed over a thousand people on my work, uh, my first Twitter account. And then it, it went through multiple phases, so to speak. Uh, then I created a sub account just for my Warcraft adventures. So basically, Twitter isn't as mean as Facebook has been um, to me. Basically, I have met the wrong type of people in my life. I, I met the wrong people at the wrong time. And I take them as lessons. We meet people for either a lesson or a blessing. And for me, it has been lessons only. No blessings at all, except for one person. So with the knowledge I have now, I will... Uh, I basically reverted back to the time in my life where I had no social media, all I did was game on my consoles only, and some TV. And I basically reverted back to that time because it it's my comfort zone, so to speak. Even though I am not anti-social, the world treats me as that, but if you really look at it at a different angle, it shows that I have met the wrong people and I have not met the right ones as of yet. Maybe if I produce gaming videos or other fun content rather than being serious at all times with my light worker videos except even then I have poked fun at myself so I, I don't know what to say on that other than the world sees me in a certain way and I have I have not met the right people yet I have met all the wrong ones because I, it's probably something to do with the law of attraction. Even though I do my own thing and produce the, the content I make being original, you know, this is all from my brain, no copying others, try to make it my own, you know? Um, as I just happened to meet the, the people who want to do nothing but ERP, I kicked them out of my life. I kicked out the energy vampires, all the toxic people, and I thought I met a person who was into me as a person only to discover 
he wanted to date me, he lied to me about like two things and he left to never see him again. So why does this keep happening to me? Lessons being learned. I question everything. I question my reality at all times. I question literally everything. And maybe, I don't know, my ex said I was too uptight. Even though I am water, I flow. I am ill. I live in my own fantasy world. <laughs> That's how I create things. Uh, I am fire. I let my anger get out of control. Because they show no mercy. I won't show no mercy too. And you're just... Uh, earth, I am stubborn. I am down to earth. Uh, calm, cool, collected. Uh, I mean, we all have our wounds, we all have our battle scars, we all are standing right now. There's not much else to say on that. Uh, so, I am a warrior of light, and the demons just um, try to break me and for a while, they, they did. Um, they did break me for um, a long time. Like I said, this, ha this incident happened tw 12 days ago, and right now I am making these two videos and trying to move forward. Like, it, it's uh, hard to describe. It's like, a part of you says no. Another part of you is like saying, hey, do this so you can recover faster or whatever. So it's like I have one part of me says go this way. Another part of me says go this other way. Um, basically, I feel cut off from my light, my sanctum, uh, sanctum, sorry. Uh, the, I feel cut off from my magic, the seat of my power, cut off from, um, uh, the source of my power, so to speak, uh, but this is nothing new. I struggle every day trying to figure out what exactly am I, my past life, what was I? And just recently found out that there was a time loop and we were stuck for a thousand years. A lot of people didn't really notice the loop was over. I didn't notice any changes, to be honest. Um, right now we are out of the loop, uh, been out of the loop for a while. And I am still moving forward as if nothing had happened. Except there's this longing to know your soul, to know what you are. And then there's the aspect of we created all these fantasies of aliens and pretty much most of them do not exist, ex do not exist except for two, the grace and the Anunnaki. Those are the only two aliens races that exist. Then there was human. Then there was Pleiadian demon. You heard me, right? Pleiadian demon. These demons want you do not go into the light. I am going to deceive you into going away from the light, deceiving you to where you are literally stuck in the matrix still. Even now, I fell to the belief of you have to help everyone, you have to love 
everyone, and that belief is not even true. Then I also fell into this, this me. I posted a, a meme once, and uh, it was not covered the whole topic. It covered only a part of the topic. Like it said, become aware of your surroundings, but. It also should have said, become aware of everything. Be aware of everything. Not just your body, not just your surroundings, but everything. The frequency you were given off, meaning uh, the ghost breath, that's an example. How does this area make you feel? How does this person make you feel? Become aware of everything, your emotions, literally everything. And this photo I showed only said one thing out of, it should have said, become aware of everything. Not just this moment, but everything. So those, all these false beliefs, well not really false, they are just misguiding you, misleading you. So you have to figure out for yourself, okay, what can I do more? And I apologize for my voice. It is getting a little bit off. So, yeah. I think I, I did a better job with this video right now. I hope I covered everything that I needed. Um, I think I did. It just basically comes back down to become aware of literally every single thing, including moment, everything. I think I covered everything, I think, until we meet again.